It uh, is my great honor to present the 2023 inaugural Torch of Freedom Award to Ukrainian First Lady Elena Zelenska. I cannot tell you how much I admire and respect her and the role she is playing at such an almost unimaginable time in her country's and the world's history. Who thought we would see pictures that looked like they were from World War II or World War I on our televisions or on our screens in 2023? But as First Lady of Ukraine, Lena has been a forceful advocate for her people. And she has overseen the humanitarian aid to orphanages, families displaced by war, the elderly, people living for the time being outside of their country yearning to return. She initiated a national mental health program to work with Ukrainians to help them overcome the traumatic consequences of Russia's invasion. And she has rallied, tirelessly rallied, the world's support for Ukraine and its struggle for freedom, democracy, actually its very existence. I am always awed by her courage and determination. This is not a role she asked for. This is not a role you can prepare for. It's one of those times in life when something is literally thrown at you and you have to decide how you're going to respond. Well, she has, with extraordinary grit, determination, and heroism on behalf of the Ukrainian people. So, it's a great privilege for me to present her on behalf of the Forbes 3050 Summit, the 2023 Inaugural Torch of Freedom Award, Elena Zelenska. Thank you so much. It's a great honor for me to stand here on this stage today in the country that has become a symbol of technological innovations and great discoveries. Truth be told, humanity has made plenty of discoveries so far. We have an opportunity to travel to space. We can perform surgeries at a distance by robots. We have taught artificial intelligence to ease our work and life. But unfortunately, humanity could not stop the thing that multiplies by zero all the achievements that I have listed. And this thing is war, an ancient enemy of mankind. The war against my country, unprovoked, cynical, and cruel, is the opposite of all human aspirations. It instantly turns progress into the regression, life into death. However, after we opened our eyes, that were closed with terror, we saw something new. We saw that what the new power of woman is. Last year, the whole world was amazed at how strong, resilient, and inspiring women are, and Ukrainian women are. Ukrainian women stay strong no matter what. They quit their jobs as chefs in restaurants and become cooks at the front lines. 
They change cozy offices and sea level positions for cold bomb shelters where they weave camouflage nets and make trench candles. All of them, regardless of their age, status, or profession, go through probably the greatest stress in their lives, as almost in every case they have their loved ones defending the country. Ukrainian women risk their lives. Today, more than 40,000 women serve in the armed forces of Ukraine. They defend not only their children, but millions of others. And their will to life and freedom inspires the world. This award is called the Torch of Freedom, and it belongs to every Ukrainian woman who makes her way to freedom, wherever she is, in Ukraine or elsewhere in the world, in the office, or in the army, in the bomb shelter, or at the front line. And it is also belongs to those who will never know about it, as they sacrificed their lives for freedom, which is symbolized in this award. It is a great honor for me to accept this award today on behalf of all Ukrainian women. Thank you and Slava Ukraini!